what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below the part of the rihanna song love on, love on the brain is the part where she says you love when I fall apart so you can put me together and throw me against the wall. Baby, you got me like, oh. Baby, you got me like. Don't leave. Okay. So there's somebody that is like in this energy of like wanting this person like what you want from me trying to fight you pretty hard you love when i fall apart so you can put me together and don't get it So there's an energy of somebody, it's almost like begging somebody not to leave or not to walk away from them. What is going on? Definitely not you begging. Definitely not you begging. There's a lot of cards that fell out and I'm just going to go on ahead and take them all. Let me get them lined up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's at the bottom? They saw something online, checking to get online to get info. Okay, so first things first, this person, if they have access to any of your social medias, if they have access to any of your Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, it's like they do not like what you post. I don't know if they have said this to you or not, but they definitely are keeping an eye on you in that way. It's like if you guys stay friends, if you and this person are still friends, don't you run from me. Don't. You know, there's somebody like, mm. I feel like the problem with this person specifically is that you come across very strong, non-submissive, um, somebody that knows their worth, somebody, and even if behind closed doors because right next to the person that stands their ground there is this door right I'm, i haven't even read no cards just reading intuitively right now okay um like even if you come across as very strong on the outside but behind closed doors like you could be falling apart you love when i fall apart this person, I don't know if there is like an issue with what you post, who likes your stuff, who follows you. It's like they check all of that. And there's an energy of you coming across almost like very, very strong, very, I don't know why I just heard educated, okay? Okay educated um independent and there's an energy of yeah she's holding a book you know what i'm saying this and so like whoever this person is they feel like you also come across as somebody who's very very smart very very intelligent okay but it's a it's almost like they overthink they overthink the things that you post online, so they try to use that as an excuse for some kind of shady behavior. 
to play the field, to do their own thing. And that's what they're doing right now. Whoever this person is, they're playing the field. They're doing their own thing. This person's in their, and I've got to be honest with you, they're in their Casanova energy, okay? Where I don't know if this person spent a lot of time like trapped in their own head, in isolation, alone, fuck with people but not necessarily ever get into a serious relationship so like this you know like this person i feel like is used to being unattainable um, um almost if you understand what i mean like you know just um they've spent a lot of time isolating themselves um trapped by their own circumstances And they're just playing the field. And so what they're doing is they're trying to make it out like the things that you post or the things that you say on social media are like a turn off to them or, or, or how strong you come across. I, I, I don't know. Okay. There, but there is an energy of you being very, very independent. There, there you are again, you know, reading a book. Again, very strong, very independent. Uh, very very intelligent okay I feel like there's an energy of you working your ass off you're willing to put in a double if you have to you're willing to put in a triple if you have to okay there's like an energy where they feel like you're just really overworked and right now whoever this person is they seem like they're trying to really like push themselves into like focus like throw themselves into work in order to avoid conversating with you or talking to you or like communicating with you and so i feel like the things that because they're not saying anything to you why oh you can't see the cards y'all why didn't y'all tell me that because they're not communicating with you there's this issue where You you could be purposely posting certain shit about strong, independent women or men or, you know, posting sexy pictures of yourself, whatever. Whether you're a man, a man or a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like purposely like posting your glow up, posting the good places you eat and you, you see what I'm saying? This person acts like they're so trapped by their circumstances and their responsibilities. Um, and they tend to come off in this Eeyore energy, okay? So if you know what the Eeyore energy is, that's basically like, okay, on Winnie the Pooh, like, oh, Eeyore, always depressed, oh, I'm down on myself, and then they're like Winnie the Pooh and them, Piglet and them, Tigger. They all try to hurry up and like they make him come out of the house, right? <laughs> this person is just like a fucking like, it's like they feel powerless and hopeless. They feel not like they're not good enough. So instead they push people away and they play this Casanova role. They could even tell you, like, I don't want to hurt you. They know you're very strong. You're very smart. You could have spoken on some spirituality shit, like you and this person, and they came across maybe kind of spiritual. And then when they realized that you were really on that, you were really on that, like, they were like, damn, they had to meet you up here at your alignment and they couldn't because even though they might know a little bit about spirituality, they might, like, have learned off of TikTok or like learned off of like Facebook reels and shit like that because this person spends a lot of time online, like a lot of time on their phone, a lot of time on the computer, a lot of time on social media, scrolling, looking at shit, you know. Whoever this person is, they're very, very scared of the unknown, okay? They're uncertain of the outcome, and this is why they're trying to purposely act like they're trapped by their responsibilities, like they feel powerless and hopeless, like this this will never work, right? I feel like the problem is 
there's something about your energy that makes them feel insecure because you are over here like on your shit. You're working your ass off. You're focused. She's got the book twice you know whether you're a male or a female they got the book twice you know like this is a smart educated independent on their shit type person and this is somebody that doesn't want somebody for monetary reasons this is somebody that wants somebody for love for loyalty for trust for reciprocation and you, you see what i'm saying but they're so scared. Like I said, this person spent has spent a lot of time in isolation. And they spent a lot of time being single. Like, this person probably has only had one or two serious relationships in their life. Okay? Um, and so, they look for a reason to try to push, push you away. And the reason why is because the, your energy intimidates them. You are very smart. You are on your shit. They feel... This person is used to coming across as very strong, as the one on top. Like, I'm on... You know, but when it comes to you, it's like... You're the one that's on your shit. You know, like... Or they could be used to dealing with people. Yeah, that's what they do. They date down. This is like somebody that dates down so that they can feel like they are better than what they are. But when it comes to your energy, it's very intimidating. It's very raw. They're scared to step into this. They're scared to step into this energy. They don't know what's going to happen if they were to give in to this. Because they know that you're not submitting or backing down for anybody. You're willing to compromise. This isn't saying you're going to stand there and say, oh, it's my way or the highway. You do what the fuck I say or you move around. No. But I'm saying that you're willing to compromise. You're willing to meet 50-50 as long as that, you know, it's reciprocated. Your energy is just intimidated because you stand on your shit. And whoever this person is, they have selective perception. They're trying to avoid that they're in love with you. And they're not truly seeing things as they are. They're avoiding the way they feel, the way they think. It's like they're purposely like focusing on other things to keep themselves from thinking about you. The problem is they feel powerless and hopeless because no matter what they do, they can try to shut you out all they want. See, they're trying to shut you out right now because they're scared of the unknown. They're scared of the outcome. They're scared of what might happen. So they're, they're trying to shut you out. They might be acting like, you know, they, they can't get, they're working, they're doing this, you know, they're so busy, blah, blah, blah. But really, they're just scared of the outcome of this situation. That they might truly fall in love with you. And this is somebody who they, maybe they never dreamt of, de and, and I gotta be honest, maybe they never dreamt of dealing with somebody like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe they dreamt of somebody that was submissive and feminine and, or super masculine, tall, hot, charming. You see what I'm saying? Um... But in either way, there's a much different, like, like, say your, what, your preference is a man, right? You, you might come across quite feminine. And say you're a woman, you might come across quite masculine, okay? And it, it's intimidating because it, it, it's like, say, say they're a man, they're used to being the more, dominant one <laughs> say you're a woman you're used to being the more dominant one so they're refusing they're moving extremely slowly okay i'm seeing them just wanting to be left the fuck alone right now okay and wow indulging in too much seclusion and i hadn't even read the cards i hadn't even looked that far yet bro 
Like, this is... I said that before I even pulled any cards that I feel like this person was indulging in too much seclusion. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're isolating themselves. They're spending a lot of time alone. They don't want to step out of their comfort zone. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, this last card right there. Out of their comfort zone, you are not like the rest. There is something about you that is extremely different. This is what I'm saying. And I felt that earlier with this. It's like, they dreamt of, okay, say we're dealing with a man. They dreamt of having like a submissive woman or this type of woman or this type of woman, right? And then you're nothing like like they, they thought that they were going to, you know, what they thought that they were going to have. Say you're a man, a woman, and you dreamt of having this rich, blah, blah, sexy, blah, 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 this, that, and that, and that, whatever women love, you know, and they're completely like not you know, what you dreamt of, but they also are everything for you. This, per, it, it's like, you guys stand out. Like, there's something different. You know that saying, like, what you want is is not always what you need? And then the two of you guys just, like, feel this energetic connection towards one one another that's undeniable. And that's why they feel so intimidated and scared of your energy and they're holding back. They're throwing themselves into work. They're acting like they're trapped. They're acting like they're busy. They're trying to close you out. They could have completely blocked you out. Refusing to see things the way they are. Acting like they just want to be left the fuck alone. Really indulging in a lot of seclusion. I don't see them just, you know, yeah, they're playing the Casanova energy. Um, but I still see them while they're out playing that Casanova energy, like focused on you. And the reason why they're like watching you, because you're different from all the rest. You intimidate them a little bit. You are out of their comfort zone. You're not like the rest. You know, you're different. You can stand your ground. You could be patient. There's an energy of I'm seeing like somebody that like this person is could be used to like the relations they ships they had being super toxic and maybe you too. But I feel like there's an energy of you guys like really doing a lot of growing. So if like this person wants to come in and like say some off the wall shit. Like, they're trying to push your buttons to see if you're going to blow up and explode and turn into this toxic person so that then they can have an excuse to say, see, that's toxic. That's what I don't want because that's what they're used to having. But I feel like you're not going to do that. I feel like they're going to try to push your buttons. It's not going to work. I feel like they're going to laugh with you. They vibe with you. They conversate with you. And they're going to miss miss that vibe. They're going to come in wanting to talk again. But right now, they're just, it's like they're just wanting to be left alone because there's something about your energy where it's like not what they thought that they want. Like It's like not what they think they want it. Want, want. But they're going to realize that, Like, there's just this energy of them fighting this connection so fucking hard. And it's because you're so strong and so intimidating. Your energy and is so smart, so educated. So, like, even if you didn't go to school, you could be street smart. You could be wise. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's something very, very wise about your energy that is just, like, guts them, like, damn, they don't really just speak on this spiritual shit. Like, they on this spiritual shit. You stand out. And they're scared of this. They're scared of this. But I'm noticing this clock, like, you're not going to wait for them forever. You're not going to wait for them to get their shit for, together forever. If they're going to move slowly, if they're going to, like, be bullshitting, then guess what? I feel like you're getting, there's two chances here. There's two clocks I'm seeing on this card. One's a little more faded away. It, it's like once time, it, they take so long to where you're ready to move forward. Here they're going to come back because this one is brighter in front. Mm. 
But that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, make sure you comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.